Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. Today, we're planting spring wheat to be able to improve my soil, add some organic matter in there, and be able to kind of easily till this up, make it a little easier, and hopefully over the next couple years, improve my soil to the point where I can grow anything I want in my backyard uh, without having to go with raised beds, which are expensive. I have raised beds, but it's limited what I can grow because it's only a certain amount of space and it would cost a fortune to fill those with dirt and to buy a bunch of raised beds to be able to kind of grow all that we want to grow. So that's the idea here. So this is some spring wheat. I actually got these a long time ago, um, probably about three years ago. So I'm not sure how well they're going to sprout. And I, I've used these and they work. I, I use them for some um, juicing. So we're just going to plant this and see how it works. But what wheat does is it kind of improves the soil. All the roots um, get down into the soil, kind of aerate it and add organic matter. You let it die in there and let the roots just kind of kind of break down and turn into organic matter for you. So it, it improves the soil and it also suppresses weeds because they're really thick. And I'll bring you guys over and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is wheat. Over here, I actually have barley. Right here is oats that didn't really seem to work. This is the first year I've planted it, but I liked it so much that I think this is a great cover crop for brand new beds. So this we had tilled up just like that section over there and then I instantly put in some wheat. Now this was a winter wheat and so it grows throughout the winter and then you harvest it late spring, maybe early summer. This is a spring wheat which you sow in the spring and you harvest late summer. This is almost ready to harvest actually. A lot of these are turning brown and looking great but you can see that this suppresses the weeds a lot of light can't get in and these weeds can't grow tall now does that mean it's perfect no i've got a couple holes and gaps in here and you can see there's a weed popping up because there's a hole but there is and there's another big hole okay but if you look throughout where it's dense we've got one here but it's on the side but there's just no no weeds and so it's going to suppress the weeds and it's also going to help build that soil. And then, of course, once you harvest this, lop the heads off, then you can turn this back into the soil and act like a mulch in a way back on to the soil. Let that break down and turn into really great organic matter. So that's what we're doing here. Now, I did the same thing. I've got one section here. I've got a section there. I've actually this will be the sixth section along here that I have tilled up. All I'm doing, let's get some of these big sticks out of the way. I'm just scattering the seed as even as I possibly can and pretty heavily. I, I mean, I want this to be a cover crop. I want it to completely cover everything and not all these are going to sprout. So we're going to heavily seed it. Plus this is older seed. And so I mean, I probably need to get more at one point. Might as well just use it up. Now we're just going to rake this in and make sure birds don't come and eat it and then also get it slightly under the soil and help ensure that we've got decent germination rate. Water this in pretty heavily. It's not calling for rain in the next couple days, so we'll have to come back and water this probably again. So today is March 16th. I always like to show you guys so you can see because I'll come back out once this sprouts and show you guys how long it takes. I know I always appreciate that when people do it on videos, so I try to do that. I don't every time. I forget sometimes, but you guys can get a good idea of how long it takes to sprout. And then, of course, you know, when I harvest, when the video comes out of harvesting, you can know roughly the time it takes between planting and harvesting. Most have not sprouted. Um, I've got little patches here and there. And I tried a process which I did on my wheat over here that worked properly, but it didn't work it, it didn't work here for this. And I wonder if I just didn't seed heavy enough. But the other thing I'm thinking is that um, you know what I did is I just scattered the seed on the ground and then I used a rake to just rake it in. And I don't think it, I think a lot of birds came and ate a lot of the seed and some of it got pushed around to other parts of the the bed here 
And I really want this as a cover crop. I want to improve the soil, and that's what this is going to do. It's going to kind of keep it covered. But let me bring you in, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. You probably learn more by my mistakes than my wins, you know? Um, and I want to show you, I mean, all this, there's nothing growing. There's a couple little, little bit of wheat. I've got a whole lot right here. And then there's a couple right there. But that's it. All the rest did not sprout. And so what I think I'm going to do is come back through, retill this up, kind of, you know, till everything back in, and then I'm going to do rows. So this is what I use for tilling. It is just this little hand thing. You step on it, break up the soil. But it's pretty soft right now. There's a few hard spots with some roots and stuff in there that hard to get up right now, but we're just going to break this up and we are going to be tilling up a lot of the wheat that did sprout you can see some of that there so that's unfortunate but this is not going to act as a cover crop it's not covering almost anything so it's kind of pointless so now let's try to even this out as best we can make this soil pretty flat on the surface and this is pretty much what i did when i planted this is gonna pull up any of those sticks. So I'm just going through and making a, a trench with the end of this. So I'm just gonna take a handful. I'm gonna go through and sprinkle the seeds like so. And this is probably way overseeding, but if I've got bad germination, then, you know, if these are all, because they are, they're older seeds, they're not perfect. And so I might have low germination rate. So this will ensure that at least a couple make it. Just right through that trench. We'll go through the next one. By hand, I'm just gonna cover like so. All right, all the trenches are covered. I'm actually gonna just go through and kind of, with my foot, make sure that there's good soil contact. I'm not putting my whole body's pressure on it at all. So, oh, got some that didn't fully get covered. So tomorrow they're calling for rain. I am gonna water it because I want to start this right away but tomorrow we've got rain coming so it's going to be really good for the germination rate of this and keep me from having to come out here and water i'll give this a nice soak i don't have to go crazy it is a hot day today it's windy so this is going to dry out fairly quickly but it is afternoon now so hoping and hey, maybe i'll have to come out again tonight right before tonight and uh at dusk and do one more soaking just to ensure that this doesn't dry out completely today is april 5th and as you can see there it's one o'clock um i'll probably have to come back and water around four or five maybe six just to ensure that this stays wet because this is going to dry out on the surface pretty quickly well it is april 9th as you can see right there hopefully you can see it and we got sprouts all along with this wheat you can see just right in a row all the way down and you can see they're in nice little rows here exactly how i planted in the meantime i'm going to be harvesting my winter wheat and barley so keep keep watching and you'll see that video come out soon. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.